afraid, the more things happened to my patience. I decided that the Lord was testing my patience by giving me to try my patience. So what do I do? I quit praying patience and do the Lord's work. Does that right to you what I did? I quit praying for patience? To me? No. I need to continue to pray. God knows what I'm doing. God has said, I want to give you more work. I want to give you more things to do. I want to test you more. Here's a perfect example. <clears throat> In today's world, we live non-patient world and business world. For example, remember you go to a dry cleaner, get your clothes, go to a dry cleaning place. What do they do? They replace them. I need this by today. Why not simply walk in, sign the papers, don't mind if I have to stay by 3 o'clock? Fine. Instead, I need it today, okay? Ooh. Another example. TV dinner. TV dinner. Old-fashioned cooking is not enough for people. Oh, I'm going to work too hard. They don't have patience there. And plus, to tell you the truth, it's not delicious to eat TV dinner every night. No. Once every time, that's fine. But I love old family fashion style cooking. But there's another way. What do you see wrong with this picture? Nothing. <laughs> Notice the lady. She can't get off and she's waiting to go into Burger King. People are too in a hurry. They're not patient enough. They don't want to deal with other people. Now, wait. Oh, not really yet. What does patient mean? It means the quality or habit of enduring without complaint. It's a little strange that when we're sitting in traffic, we often to act like this. <laughs> we get angry. Hey, hey, hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! <laughs> you imagine? He is late for work. He doesn't get up on time. Imagine that. Brothers and sisters, be patient. The Lord will come. So be patient until that time. Look at the farmers. They have to be patient. They have to wait for their valuable crop to grow and produce a harvest. They wait patiently for the first rain and the last rain. You must be patient too. Never stop hoping the Lord is coming soon. Brothers and sisters, don't complain against each other. If you don't stop complaining to each other, you will be judged guilty. And the judge is ready to come home. Brothers and sisters, follow the example of the prophet who spoke for the Lord. They suffered many bad things, but they were patient. This is one of the most
most hardest thing to do than to be patient with others. Sometimes we even need to look for it like we really need it now. What? <laughs> We're looking for patience. Where? 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 That, no, looking for patience. And sometimes we wish that people would mess up and they would have to, we have our own way. Sometimes we go beyond praying even this same God. What? <laughs> Imagine you become crazy. Really want to hurt someone. <laughs> Sometimes, did you know that if we become more not patient, we tend to take it out on someone else? It's true. Many times, People are not patient in traffic. They go home, boom! They get upset with their own family. I can remember my best friend gets to come home. He gets upset. What do I do? I'm patient. Very, very patient. Now, watch what happens. Men in the Bible has been patient. I'll give you an example. Elijah. Remember? He was almost killed by Ahab and Jezebel. But he was very patient. Jeremiah was prisoned for spreading out God's word. He was patient. Job. That last man, I love the story of Job. He let God test him. He is a man of great patience. If you read the book of Job, you can see how he has suffered 
everything, but he was still patient. Even his own wife said, Joe, what are you doing? You're suffering. Curse God. Joe has so many problems. God and Satan was talking. And it's funny. Satan says, God, let me, let me give the test to Joe. Okay? Don't touch him. Just give him the thing. Stop. And I bet he will never curse him. They said, no, go ahead. Boom. And we died. Precious death. Later, sons and daughters, both killed in the house of Boom. Oil, sickness, everything. People said, just a curse God, curse God. and learn to 
get along with each other. Let's forget about the past and just be friends with everyone. Because as soon as we get ready to go home, God will come here and say, Wow, you impressed me. Show kindness, show love. And God will say, Thank you.